For the first time since 2020, the World Economic Forum has returned to its traditional January slot after the pandemic put the annual meeting on hold. But the forum this year still takes place at a critical moment with the world facing a mounting number of challenges, including a possible global recession. For more, we turn to a professor of economics, Yan jun Sok from the Catholic University of Korea. Welcome to the program. Hello. Happy to be here. Good morning. So Davos Forum organizers released their own economic prospects for the new year. And apparently, two-thirds of 50 economists who did an in-depth interview say that the global, they expect the global economy to slip into a recession. Now, what does this say about the global economic outlook? Well, it does indicate that there's a lot of hardship ahead this year, and I think uh, everybody's accepting that uh, there will be very slow growth this year. Uh, the United States is continuing to raise interest rates to control their inflation, uh, but the even though inflation in the U.S. may have peaked, uh, the job market is still strong, and the U.S. is still expected to uh, raise the interest rate by another 50 to 75 percent. Uh, basis points during the beginning of the year and perhaps uh, continue to raise the rates after. Uh, and uh, because of the pandemic and because of the high inflation in part, uh, most of the country, uh, most of the countries around the world do have higher debt, uh, government debt and corporate debt. And uh, the increasing interest rate will make the uh, interest burden on that much more difficult. Uh, and third, uh, China's growth rates have uh, re, uh, been uh, falling. Uh, previously, Chinese growth has been uh, accounting for much of global growth, uh, but uh, the, even the IMF believes that the uh, that uh, China's growth will not be strong enough to perhaps pull the uh, global economy forwards. But having said that. Uh, Foreign press reports today seem to indicate that the uh, mood in Davos is perhaps more optimistic than what it was when the meeting started, uh, because in many countries, even though inflation is still high, uh, it, it probably has peaked, so inflation will be falling throughout the year. Uh, and because even though Chinese growth is expected to slow, uh, they did get away from zero COVID policies, so they are going to start to grow. Uh, and commodity prices, oil prices, uh, gas prices, have coming uh, have been coming down so apparently even though the uh, mood was very pessimistic at the beginning of or just before the beginning of the uh, conference uh, things are a bit more optimistic uh, in the uh, actually on the ground uh, right now right let me tell you it's really frustrating and really hard to keep up with all these gloomy economy outlooks even in the new year now moving on president yun sagar will also make his debut at the davos forum there he's expected to give an address focusing on the message of global solidarity to overcome economic challenges now what details can we expect from this speech in terms of solidarity cooperation and also the direction of economic policies Okay, well, the uh, Davos theme for 2023 was cooperation in a fragmented world, and fragmentation means uh, forming of trading blocks, uh, mostly because of the uh, U.S., uh, China trade war, but also uh, split between China, uh, U.S. and European Union, uh, partially because of the uh, Inflation uh, Inflation Reduction Act and Chips Act by the United States. Uh, so, uh, President, because Korea depends on trade not only with one uh, block but with the entire world, uh, President Yoon will probably emphasize the importance of international trade and investment. Uh, President Yoon uh, will also probably. Uh, put some comments on uh, IT uh, industry, uh, new industrial revolution industries. Uh, President Yoon has already sent an article to Davos concerning digital platform government uh, that's uh, using the IT for establishing better government uh, and better data gathering. And he's probably going to re-emphasize uh, that uh, better government aspect of it, uh, sharing data among government agencies, uh, need for common data formats, not only within countries, but internationally, uh, and data, uh, and this uh, better government platform as a starting point for using AI, blockchain, quantum cryptography uh, technologies, and uh, encouraging startups in these industries. And then, of course, the uh, 
uh, agenda for the uh, Davos Forum has included uh, global uh, reduction of global warming uh, and uh, use of clean energy for a long time. So he's probably going to emphasize that as well. Right. Before we let you go, Professor, the last question has to do with China and its economic growth that you mentioned earlier. The leaders of the world's biggest economies, the U.S. and China, are not going to be present at the forum. Now, which has prompted concerns that this year's forum may not be as significant as the ones in the previous year. Do you also believe so? I mean, will their absence mean less light will be shed on talks on global economy? Okay, well, I think this is a result rather than becoming a cause. What I mean by that is whenever presidents go out and they uh, meet with other presidents and you have agreements, uh, you have memorandums and so on, uh, usually people behind the scenes have been working on that for six months to two years. Uh, now, the very fact that the presidents of uh, U.S. and China are not meeting is pr uh, partially because uh, no such agreements have been around. Uh, they have uh, no uh, such agreements have been uh, successful in the uh, last few months. Uh, so so uh, it I think it presents, represents a result that there has not been that much negotiations rather than uh, concerns about future growth. Uh, now, uh, the, uh, the uh, pr uh, meetings between the uh, uh, other presidents, uh, well, uh, they may give some indication on how other countries feel about China and U.S., and they may be freer to say that without the uh, U.S. and Chinese presidents uh, than uh, if they have been showing up for the conference. Right. The forum has just kicked off. We have lots of to catch on in the coming days. Uh, thank you always for your insight, Professor. Thank you.